and welcome to a wonderful video. We are here with Q&A number eight. Eight, yeah, it's 8,000 subscribers, so yay. I hope the audio is good. It's definitely not as good as usual, but I wanted to try something out new, so I have my GoPro on a uh, thing. It's, it's, it's a weird setup. It's weird as fuck. But I hope you appreciate that I try out new things or, you know, switch some things up. My battery's at eight nine percent, so we gotta we gotta go through this fast. I just wanna point out I had to make screenshots of the comments, put them in a folder, put that folder on Dropbox, and now I have it on my phone. It's great. Technology. Then you could just get an iPad. Yeah, you have six hundred rooms. <laughs> Room is a name, not a. What the fuck did I thought with Rube? Isn't that Russian? I think Russians have. have have a currency with R. I don't know. First comment is what do you think about YouTube Red? Has it affected your income from YouTube? I don't know why I said it like that. Well, no. I heard something that it doesn't affect the creators uh, for some reason. I haven't looked into it and I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> and I was like, good to know. Uh, uh, I'm such a small channel. I could get around $130 a month or 80 and that just fluctuates. That's a nice word. I hope I used it right. Uh, like my money fluctuates every month a little bit. That's just normal. So I don't really see anything of that. Uh, but I like YouTube, right? That is the idea. I think I talked about this at some point that I would like a service like Twitch Turbo and now YouTube Red is here. I'm still not quite sure if I'm gonna, do, you know, pay pay for it. Maybe if I have a little bit more money you know, in the future, uh, uh, you know, because YouTube is like, I have a choice in, um, it's a bit different because on YouTube I want to watch the videos and I'm t fine if I, if there is a, if there is, you know, a, a fucking thing coming, you know, an ad. But when I watch streams, I like to let them run in the background. And if I let them run in the background, suddenly there's just a fucking, I don't know, chocolate ad in my ear and just really loud because you ad creators are too stupid to check the fucking decibels, apparently. Uh, then that that is what I hate, so I actually pay for Twitch Turbo, so... That's worth for me. I don't know. On streams, I dislike it. Streams is like a little bit similar to TV, you know? You let it run in the background, maybe, and you just enjoy your time. And it, every time there's an ad, you're like, God fucking damn, it just... Oh, it, it annoys the fuck out of me. So, no, I didn't realize any changes. Say my name. Say Daniel Antonio Banderas. Oh, fuck, I fucked it up. Sorry, man. Can't say it. When you only have 8,000 subscribers, you deserve like 2 million. No. <laughs> it's a good good answer. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Daniel. The reason? Probably because I'm doing different types of videos like what YouTube shares or, or people would normally watch, you know? It's like cool that 8,000 people are like, yo, we like your stuff. And that's great. That's great. Uh, but it's not like... If I do a different type of, of, of videos, like fucking top something, I would definitely be top, you know? Because top... Tens, prank videos, you know, the usual stuff that is just very, um, very liked on YouTube, you know, and that is just what YouTube shares, and that is how you get literally subscribers. Do what everyone else does. There you go. And I'm not doing it, I like uh, most of the stuff. I have my humor from other YouTubers, obviously, but I also have my own humor and uh, my stupidity, let us say that, my stupid humor. Uh, but uh, I tried to look at other YouTubers, but uh, at the end I'm still, I don't know, my own, which is partially good and partially bad, because if I want to live from YouTube, that's a bad thing. If I, if I want to be my own and just have fun, that's the good part. But what I want is uh, to be able to live from YouTube, and that's not possible in the way I do my videos. So I always look in other directions and other ways. Uh, but I think the most important stuff what I should be doing since maybe a year is collaborations because collaborations uh, if it's big or small I think it still helps if you have like constantly every week a collaboration with a new person or, or maybe with the same person and do a series with them because it just adds flavor you know it's not like a fucking steak uh, like a, a steak and just you know medium raw no you add a little bit salt and a little bit pepper and maybe a little bit 
spinach. Yeah, I said it, spinach, motherfucker. But yeah, I think it just adds spice to the channel, you know, if you, uh, if you do some collaborations here and there. I really hope this is good, this looks weird. Next is, are you John Cena? Apart from that, what games do you play on playing? No, I'm not John Cena. What games do you plan on uh, 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 playing? Uh, I actually just talk about this like constantly on my vlog Sunday. I think I repeat this like every third week. I repeat the fucking same list pretty much. Uh, but I have planned Shovel Knight as uh, as some indie let's plays. A uh, Shovel Knight. Um, what was too fuck? I gotta I gotta check the list, dude. Well, some games. I couldn't remember everyone, but I think it was Assassin's Creed, Fallout 3, and and or New Vegas. I think New Vegas actually because I had problems with Fallout 3, so I gotta check the list. Uh, or, you know, change the list. Uh, Shadow of Mordor, Borderlands, Assassin's Creed, I think I said this. Uh, the Witcher, that was the the big titles. The indie titles were Axiom Verge, which I don't have because it's fucking expensive for an indie game. So I'm gonna wait. <laughs> Christmas, please, Christmas sale. Uh, then was Shovel Knight and what the fuck was the other one? Wings of Vine, exactly. So those are like the games I'm playing on playing. A plan on playing. But the big problem uh, of the big tiles are, well, I have my fucking graphics card is too weak. I obviously can play them in low or medium, but that is not something I like to play. And I'm gonna be pissed the whole fucking time because the game doesn't look like how I want it to. And also the quality uh, compared to the other YouTube videos, mine are gonna be worse, worse, worse. Uh, so I barely get views because of that. And also maybe you guys don't like it, you know? Maybe you want the top of the top quality and I want the top of the qu top quality upload on my channel, you know? Uh, I think the only time I didn't do that, I think was at some point, I think it was Deadly 30. I couldn't record it whatsoever with Fucking, I mean, I think I could have recorded it, but still it would have been like So difficult really, but anyways, uh, I try you know to upload now in 1080p 60 FPS and I would love to like Boost this up to I don't know at some point maybe 4k and 60 FPS if I if I'm able to do that But you know obviously uh, I need the graphics card. I also have a donation uh, goal now on my stream so if you wanna uh, donate to that, you know, so maybe we can hit the goal. It's a big goal, but if we can hit that, uh, yeah, I can, you know, go a step further and play all those games. I would love to play them, you know? That's the reason why the, li the list is just getting bigger. Now, I actually need to write AC Syndicate on it too, you know? Because I'm I'm one year behind Assassin's Creed and I would love to play Assassin's Creed, but... Nah. Next! Oh god, that's a big one. Uh, that's what she said. How do you feel about FPS games? Do you have a degree in anything? Favorite music genre? Keep up the great work. <laughs> the fourth is a good question. It's a very <laughs> keep up the great work. I'm not quite sure. Uh, how do you feel about FPS games? Well, I like FPS games. They're fun, but I'm pretty shit at it. And also, my eyesight is fucked. Not because I'm blind. I'm actually seeing pretty good for my age. Yet. Like I don't need any glasses or anything. I could have glasses, you know, because it's a little bit shitty. Uh, my problem is that. If you can see the difference right now, you know, I can change my fucking eyes. That eye is just going fucking somewhere. I think it's that eye that it's going somewhere. And I can't concentrate, which means I can't concentrate in FPS games. If the, I think it's because of the perspective of the game. I'm just getting fucked up. My eyes are like going uh, somewhere. And then you, I can't focus on the game and then I'm shit. Uh, I'm usually shit too, you know, because... I'm bad, you know, with control, I don't know, focusing, anyways. Uh, but yeah, I like FPS games and I play them, and I think I actually recorded for my vlog Sunday some Call of Duty because I was in a, not, I don't, I wasn't in the beta, everybody was in the beta, I think, who had the previous Call of Duty games, and it was a lot of fun. I ha I actually have the previous Call of Duty game, I barely played it. And I'm really liking the new one. I liked Black Ops 3. It's really fun. The beta I was like in the beta I was like, holy fucking shit, I need it. Uh, it's 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 disgusting how Call of Duty just always pulls me back. Should have never started. I should have never started. Do you have a degree in anything? No, I don't have a degree. Actually, the only school I have is like the usual nine years we have here in school. So it's like a, that's what you need. That's like your minimum uh, you need, and then you're allowed to uh, go. I think. 
maybe they changed this actually i'm you know 22 so they might change have changed this in seven eight years uh and then i learned a job you know we, we can learn jobs from cook to fucking uh, uh electrician you know stuff like this and i'm print technician you know which means i'm working on this massive fucking uh print machines which are just fucking gigantic and loud as fuck but they print a incredible speed at some point too. I learned the print technician side and uh, after that I literally am nearly three years at home so unemployed yay uh, and trying to get back obviously into the jobs but it's very difficult if you don't have any degree so far so that was a big problem what I have right now in my life uh, so get a degree guys in whatever fucking thing you want you know I mean you should definitely know if you want to be more on the technical side or more on the on the you know on the selling your shit side you know if you want to uh, be someone who sells stuff or if uh, like I don't know per phone or per person you know you want to sell that or if you really want to work on machines or or be outside and build something you know if you if you can say you're this or that uh, uh, whatever degree you're getting you are in that area and that's good and I'm I'm in the technician side and I dislike and I need to be in that side but I have a not a degree I just learned the job uh, so I'm pretty much fucked you know uh, I'm literally fucked right now in that position but uh, yeah that's pretty much what you have now out of life if you fuck it up but uh, I think that's uh, I mean that's cool that I can tell you guys that you know if you're like 12 13 14 15 you can literally be like whoa you know you really need to check that you know you really need to focus on getting uh, something bigger than, than than the usual stuff I think that's the important thing because after that you have like I, I don't know how it is in other in other countries but I think if you go a little bit more to school than in normal stuff you know before you're going to work maybe go some more years into school and then you have like a bigger you know you you're opening you, you know the horizon is pretty much opening for you you know you have more possibilities and i think that's what what you definitely should do because right now i, I fucked up my favorite mu music genre i don't really have a favorite of anything uh like i don't have a favorite game or movie or anything but the music genre uh, uh but yeah I, I, we can break down the music genre a no, well actually no i can't break down the music genre because i like the music uh, music genre um electronic music if you wanted yeah that's probably my favorite one yeah it's maybe 60 percent you know uh, uh the other are maybe some pop songs are not that bad i actually really like the classical music is also not that bad next thing my question why are you outside well i just did a stupid joke so i was outside that's that's literally it i have three percent on my fucking phone damn it Will you stream more often because I don't want to miss uh, any again? Yes, obviously I will stream more often. When? I don't know. Uh, it could be... I don't really have a schedule. I will try to upload, uh, stream more and I will upload, you know, the streams uh, on YouTube as always. But I really like the idea of playing through Terraria with the yo-yo again. Number one, I need, I need to do some challenges and I lost my character. So I was like, fuck it, let's play, th play through the game again. And I was like, think, yo, I could stream that, you know? And I think that's a pretty fun idea, so I'm gonna do that. So I'm he gonna, here and there, I'm gonna stream one or two hours. But the best thing is definitely follow me on Twitch. Links are everywhere on my channel, under every single fucking video, I think. Uh, there are the stream link. There's the stream link, so go follow me on Twitch. Because, yeah, we can connect there a little bit better, you know? Have a lot of fun, especially with emotes. Is his name John C? All right, if you're patient enough, you uh, can you and me do a collab one day. I'm working hard to get my YouTube channel to get us to start doing uncutted LPs. So yeah, maybe in around two to three months I can start. Uh, I'm not quite sure actually because I said yes if the if you know your channel is similar to mine and yes, but uh, I'm not quite sure. The thing is, if you have something special, you know, so I know you will get, uh, you will grow in your channel, then I'm interested in, you know, or if you're at my, my position, you know, because we have like, because someone who has like 500,000 and someone who has 8,000, that's a different mentality, you know, they, they actually achieved something. 8,000 is like, wow, you could have done this, I don't know, in your 
in the middle of school, you know, like the, the eight, you, eight years you're in school, you could have recorded videos and uploaded them on YouTube. Good job, you also have 8,000 subscribers, you know. Uh, I assume, I don't know. Uh, probably, probably you have more because you're doing it for a very long time because eight years is fucking long. But uh, yeah, if uncut the LPs are, you really need something else. Just a little tip, you really need something else. Because uncut the LPs are pretty fucking boring. Like, you could upload uncut the LPs all the fucking time. Like, that's nothing special. If you want to get a YouTube channel up and running, you need something a bit different from someone. And there is pretty much everything out there. And why am I doing videos? You know, what, what is so different on my videos? I think it's pretty much uh, some of my editing, maybe. It is still a let's play, you know? Um, and I think everything is pretty much raw. You know, there's no real, I will fake something now, you know? Uh, I don't know. I think it's like, it's a very chill let's plays I have, but also with some fun. I don't know. That's probably my thing. Also my stupid accent. And that was pretty much it. I actually didn't have so many questions. Uh, questions. I think there were just eight. And... Can you hear me? Hi. We're professionals here at Daniel Link. Also, my back is killing me, so thank you very much for watching this Q&A. I will do another Q&A uh, at 9,000 subscribers and another giveaway if, you, you're, if you're someone who wants to, you know, get games. Um, share the channel. Like I said last time, I will do another giveaway at 10,000 subscribers because every thousand subscribers is a little bit, a little bit intense, let us say that. I also think that every thousand people... I get maybe two or three bigger people who are really following me everywhere. Those are the two, three people who are getting the keys, you know? That's what I see, I like I break it down. So, I will do another gi big giveaway. I have a shit ton of code, obviously. If you want another giveaway, please share the channel. And if we hit 10,000, I'm gonna do, obviously, another giveaway, uh, giveaway at Q&A. And at 9,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do another Q&A as well. So, please, share the channel because that helps me out a lot. Also, I would like to, obviously, do this. As you're living at some, but living at a some, at at some point, fucking brammy. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. Uh, if you did, please go and subscribe. And we're also following me on uh, everywhere. Like I said, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, uh, anywhere you want me to connect to you. God, I'm getting awful at this. And I will see you next time when I... Uh, find maybe next year and there might be actually in my own, uh, in my own apartment. <laughs> That's positive and negative. So I'm not quite sure what's, what's more, if it's more positive or more negative, but I will see you then. And obviously every single week on my vlog Sunday, so see you next time.